One Swiss ball, one TheraBand, that will revolutionize your backswing forever. A big warm welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I've got a drill for you that is going to encourage more hip rotation. Use your legs and really light the touch paper of how you can feel handle pressure to its maximum. I've talked about handle pressure for a long time now, and I'm getting a few questions in the comments, which I always welcome and I'll always respond to you, always. How do I feel handle pressure in the golf swing? A lot of the time, feeling force in the handle down underneath us will ultimately lower the circle of the golf swing down to the floor. If you're lowering the circle of the swing down to the floor, when I push the handle down, if the club head runs into the floor, all of a sudden, you're not gonna to wanna to push down, you're gonna to wanna to pull up. This drill is gonna really help you feel a lot more of that. Let's get to it. Now, many of you will have seen videos with the TheraBand and you will have seen them with the Swiss ball. I did my first Swiss ball video probably for eight, 10 months ago. So do go check that out. I did a recent video probably two, three months ago, and it's called You Need This Drill. I've got two TheraBands, a red one and a blue one, wrapped around my neck. Go check that out, those two videos out in isolation before you watch this one. We've got to understand that when we are making a backswing, there's a, a lot going on, right? You're, you're trying to load the golf club, load your shoulders, load your musculoskeletal system in order to be a make it a dynamic move on the way down. The Swiss ball in isolation, first of all, what's this going to do for us? Well, when the Swiss ball is up onto our left hip here, and I'd, I'd never seen anyone like my broom drill on YouTube and on Instagram pop this up, and then I started seeing it all over the place. So I'm gonna take some credit for that, <laughs> some credit. The Swiss ball gives me some pushback. Now, when the Swiss ball is squeezed at the start, obviously there's air in the Swiss ball, so I, 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 I then really find it difficult to apply more force. So all I want you to do is to start with is just create as light a pressure as possible on the Swiss ball so it holds itself up. And then you're going to take your setup. When we talk about loading the right leg in a backswing, so many people will think about loading the right leg by moving sideways. And this is how it's been perceived for many years. And as I've talked about in many videos, the right hip starts to rise up. Then as I start to rotate, I get really short in turn because of the orientation of my pelvis. When I make this Swiss ball drill, or make the Swiss ball roll, along the wall, I really allow my lower half to start to rotate. Now, if I kept the pressure the same in the Swiss ball, my feet would feel no different to what they are at the start. So I'd simply be rolling the Swiss ball down the wall. But in a backswing, I'm always trying to create a reaction for when I then come to pull the golf club in the change of direction in transition. So what I'm looking to do without the TheraBand is I'm trying to make this right leg start to exert force into the Swiss ball that's pushing me back. So as I start to make the backswing, as I start to rise to the top, I'm gonna to start to create more of a squeeze into the Swiss ball. And at this point here, whilst it feels like I'm a little bit left with my lower half, I'm feeling all of the pressure in my right foot. But of course, if I took the Swiss ball away, all of that pressure would then dump itself into my left leg. And that's what I'm looking for. As I make a backswing, I'm looking for the right foot to really press and push force into my left foot as I go back. Then what we want you to do is to use the TheraBand to oppose that direction. Because if I just push with my lower half, it'd be very easy for everyone to start leaning into the Swiss ball, wouldn't it? So I'm now gonna put the TheraBand around my neck. I want you to grab it 
with your thumb and index finger and make it a point where it's just a light pressure. You don't need to go nuts. And what I want you to do is just put your palms uh, down to the floor and make your hands touch each other. So now this is my start point. I've now got the TheraBand loaded, which is pushing off of my posture. I'm not allowing my posture to give way, so I'm pushing down. And then what we're gonna get you to do is start to roll the Swiss ball down the wall. So now my lower half is starting to move around. And then what I'm trying to do is create some force down in the TheraBand. And so now I've got two forces working against each other. I've got a force moving that way and I've got a force moving this way, which allows my top half to stay in forward flexion as opposed to my top half going into back extension. Now there's golfers out there that will want you to do or go into back extension, not for me. It's not what I would like you to do. So we're gonna push the TheraBand down we're gonna squeeze the Swiss ball with my foot. The more I roll the Swiss ball towards my golf club, the more I can start to create some good hip turn. And the more I squeeze and push the TheraBand down, the more it's going to move my chest around. Those are the two forces in a backswing. In fact, I'm gonna do it with a golf club. Those are the two forces in the backswing that I'm looking to feel with my upper body and lower body so that they start to work against each other. And so that force and pressure down through the shaft well, that loads the golf club, loads my shoulders and starts to set the golf club a little differently. When I reach the top, I then start to feel how I've got energy moving from my right foot to my left foot. I've got my lower half moving around and I'm creating force on the handle that's setting the golf club up, that's pushing off my chest. Let's go and apply that on the mat. Hopefully the Swiss ball and TheraBand drill has given you insight into what I'm gonna be sensing in my takeaway and into my backswing. Remember, if you've not seen it, a video, uh, every tour pro does this, which is about setup. And incidentally, if you're new to the channel, do hit the like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal lesson with myself and you don't live in Surrey, which is where I coach, do feel free to check me out on Skillist, where I offer online coaching. As I say, the TheraBand drill and the Swiss ball drill mixed together now give me the opportunity to after getting my setup right which I reference in the every tour pro does it the force and pressure down underneath the shoulder which is pushing off of my posture which is why my posture is so important me to important to me to start with now as I start to move the golf club down and I talked about it in a recent video about the relevance of having the golf club head off of the floor. Again, you don't know whether when you're looking through the video whether that club head is dead on the floor, i.e. light in my hands, or the club head is just being taken the strain of. The club head is off the floor. I'm feeling the load through the pad of my left hand. Now as I start to take the golf club away, I continue to make the pressure in the TheraBand continuous, so I'm keeping the force down here. I'm now pushing energy into the Swiss ball, so my right foot starts to push up and push me to the left. So I've got those two forces working against each other, so there's the push. My hip starts to move back in, the club head stays out even though the handle's moved in, because I've created the force and down, now as I start to raise the handle up, this is where I'm still trying to feel how my chest is still leaning on the TheraBand, which is what I stressed in the backswing, so, uh, on the drill rather. So now as I get to the top, 
I really feel that my chest is down because I'm sensing the pressure on the TheraBand. And as I'm sensing pressure on the TheraBand, I'm sensing pressure into the Swiss ball. Now to push into the Swiss ball, the right foot is having to push me that way. And as it pushes me that way and the right hip swings back in and around, it swings the left hip out, the pressure moves into the left toe. So it's a very dynamic move and I, and I haven't once thought about trying to position the golf club in any particular fashion. All I'm trying to do is I'm en enabling the feet and my handle to start to oppose each other, which will really come to light as I start to strike the golf ball and start to uh, embrace how the legs and the handle start to work with, with each other. So the force and pressure down, the right foot's pushing me left, and as I arrive at the top, I then start to feel, as I rise to the top, I start to feel how the force has been pushed into my left, left leg, so that at the point of pull, the left foot, the left toe, and the club pulling now start to harmonize with each other. So there we are at setup, pressure in the red TheraBand, pressure into the Swiss ball. They're working together. It's allowing me to load the top half of my body through my shoulders. It's allowing my right foot to push force into the floor, to push energy to the left, to open my pelvis up, which allows me to then start to feel that when I pull on the golf club, and if you haven't seen it, you must pull on the golf club, then allows me to pull and use the force that I've pushed into my left foot when I pull on the golf club. So the backswing is a really dynamic move from the top of the tree, the top of the kinetic chain with my hands and arms that are actually down underneath us and the bottom of the kinetic chain, which are my feet. So the Swiss ball and the handle of the TheraBand are really working together to allow me to start to feel how the handle and the feet start to work as a unit, as a dynamic move in your backswing. There's more to come on this, of which I'm really excited to share with you. If you've enjoyed this video, do hit the like button, share and subscribe, and I think you'll find that's good coaching.